Hi everyone, welcome to me by the Not. My name is Anna and I make junk journals out of old books and mostly repurposed sources. Today we will continue to work on this grungy journal. Uh, yesterday we started working on the signatures, uh, pulling up papers and uh, putting them into signatures. There will be nine signatures in this book. This is the old text block that is keeping the spine remembering what it's supposed to be. Uh, I have chosen the end papers for this. This is a Tim Holtz paper and uh, of course I could do this side as well but I'm not feeling the cheery uh, rosy vibe today so we are going with this side. And I will start by cutting them into roughly the size they're supposed to be in. Uh, I always cut them a little bit too big and then I cut them down when I have to put the text block in. But I want to make a rough cut anyway. So I will make them 21 by... once I think and then I can cut them down yeah that will be it so I will use my Fiskars cutting board let's get some things out of the way so it's Sunday it's a beautiful sunny day today and I am happy that it's not raining <laughs> as I said yesterday we have had a lot of rain recently and it's nice to see a nice clear autumn day actually uh, what are you doing today? are you crafting are you doing something else have you had a good weekend had a lovely weekend it's been nice and slow and um, lots of alone time actually because my family has been out competing again <laughs> the mountain bike season is not over yet well it is now because today is the uh, is the last event of the season I have to put them like that I think yes or maybe I will do that I will decide what is front and what is back a little later. But I, I love the color next to the, the front cover, and uh, I think this will look very nice. Yeah. Yesterday, after we finished off, uh, I had a little bit of papers left, but I didn't have more time to to fold them and so on. Then I went on to putting in the. ledger papers inside the journal. This one for instance I fold it up and then I will do some sewing here and I will make a little notch and then there will be there will be a double pocket actually. I'll put the notch in now so that I do not forget to do that. Just a small thumb notch eyeballing the center. So now I will know that that is a pocket. I might do some uh, collaging here and I will probably I will ink the edge so that you can see that it's a pocket and that I can do right now as well. I am using uh, gutter twigs, distress ink for this journal. Sometimes I use gathered photo, uh, gathered photo, vintage photo. And sometimes I use gathered twigs. Lately I have been, I bought a brush corduroy, uh, but that's a distress oxide actually. Um, it's nice, it's a bit yellow, but I think I will find the perfect journal for that as well. 
Now we can clearly see that that is a pocket. And so another thing that I did yesterday evening when I was <laughs> watching uh, some crafting videos is that I uh, did a bit of collaging on the first page. <laughs> I just boom, just fell into to the autumn vibe all of a sudden. sudden. And I, oh my god, that sounds good. Um, I put some paper down and a bit, a little label, and then I fussy cut a mushroom and put it there. And I think that's cool. Uh, it will look very nice next to the end papers as well. And I have, uh, let me see what I got. Uh, I have a small mushroom of the same kind. Let me do that like this. I want to put something up here as well. I'm not sure what yet. I was thinking about maybe a stamp. Uh, anyway, I will, for instance, I can do like that. I can put the small mushroom down there and I can have a pocket or something. Uh, maybe I will do one of those pockets that you have the same paper. Oh, that's the wrong way. Um, no, and then you can put. I don't know. I haven't decided, but I'm thinking about maybe putting that the mushroom over there so that it, you know, keeps it keeps it together. Or maybe there. I'm keeping it in my little box for now. Uh, so that's one thing I did. Uh, I think I want to put a found a little stamp also gave me a bit of an autumn vibe and it's a Canadian stamp. Hi to Catherine and Nancy <laughs> and everyone else in Canada. I'm thinking about putting it up there, a little skew like that. Just to get some flow on the page. But I'm not sure, so I'm keeping that in my little bag box as well. Um, but what I do know is that these papers have been in the press all the night and they are nice and flat. And then I have, you see, I have lots and lots of space left. And right now there's about five uh, papers, five folios in each signature and I think I want to put one more. So I have... Um, A little pile of papers here that I pulled out and want to put in. This is some uh, piece of 8x8 uh, scrapbook paper, thin scrapbook paper, and it was very white so I splattered some coffee on it this morning. And this will go very nice and flat in the um, book press as well. I also have uh, this envelope, it's old, and this one is actually, uh, it's, uh, it's been opening it, uh, opened up. So I want to put this in the center of the signature and then close it afterwards and then I have a, a pocket in the center. I have some with Holden with a bit of an autumn vibe to it. There is page from uh, The Life in the Fields, also, also with an autumn vibe to it. I have a uh, page, a uh, small photo from a small calendar from 1917 with some cool advertisements on them. And I love the green. Uh, I have a photo from a book about fishes. And I thought that was quite cool. So I want to add that as well. I have a folio from a book about electricity and magnetism. And that was from 1926. And this one has lots and lots of um, drawing on it. Someone has been bored during the lessons, I guess. I have a piece of stationery that I just folded in half. 
and then I made a small franken page because I found this nice bird and <laughs> I thought he looked so cool so I uh, sewed some paper that I tie dyed with some lace outside uh, this summer one of the few sunny days and I folded that as well and there's also a another bird so that's what I have assembled and I want to put them in and I have also an idea for a pocket center. Yeah, that would be good. Then that signature. So I want to extend that one as well. It's flat. I think that's very bright. Maybe I should simply put something here to break it up a bit. With the electricity paper, perhaps. Yeah. Then I'm thinking about changing the direction of that fold and maybe doing something like this. This is the rest of the piece of paper I used in the front. Um, and maybe I can use I don't know I will do that later <laughs> not fuffing about about that fuffing and let's see signature 4 also a bit because that ledger was right on the back side And I do not like that. Maybe I should put this one there and break it up a bit. The fifth signature. There's a German book and I want something cooler in the center so I will put the life and the fields in there. It's nice. Stagger them a bit. Yeah, I like that. No, I do not, because that is signature five and I want the envelope. Right. Because that is roughly the center of the book. And I will sew it in like that and then I will close it up and I will have a cool pocket there. Yes. Lovely. Let's see. of the field, the flowers, the life on the fields there. That's good. That's a very white ledger. And if I do... Nah, I want to put him there, I think. That's good as well. I want that one. 
and that turned out perfect i think now i have six pages in signature and they are about the same thickness all of them let me see how this feels now yeah that's good and then i will um, put the signatures back into the book press uh, paper press tonight and that will be um, good I could do that as well you see you have so many options when there's double-sided papers just a little teeny tiny tiny teeny little mushroom That's not bad at all. It kind of differs in this is more green and this is more brown. But then again, here you have the. Hmm. This is not for today anyway. So I have. Uh, I want to put pockets in them and. I want to have at least one pocket per signature, maybe a tuck spot, tuck spot or something else as well. And I know that in signature number nine, I have already put in, put in the double pocket, so I do not want to um, put anything else there. No other pockets anyway. And I know that in signature five, I put in the envelope in the center, right there. So that is good to go as well. But I still have seven more signatures that I want to put pockets in. And usually I make a pocket out of an index card and some collaging and a calendar from the year that the book was published. But this book was published in 1863 and my chronicle book is from 1900 to 2000. So if I don't find a calendar from 1863, I will not do that. I will do something else. But I can um, wait. And I always put that in the first signature. I can still um, incorporate the date, the year of 1863 anyway. In some ways I can do it stamping and other things. But um, I would have to uh, think about that. So in this signature, and I also have some papers that I want to make out into clips. And I want to extend some of the clips as well, flip outs. This paper is way too thin to make into pockets. If I don't do, you see, it's been put together with a pen. You see it there. Uh, if I don't do the sewing, then uh, there is a natural pay, uh, pocket there. This flip, flip needs to be expanded as well. With something. Maybe I have. Uh, I'm looking. No, I have one of those baskets where I put all the things from that I think that I'm going to put in somehow. Now I'm just flipping through. This one, I think it's so cool. It's a page. I think it's copy. Oh, this one has to be coffee dye or ink splatter. Um, with the old mollusk. It's um, different shells and squids and things. Very cool. I don't think I will put it there, but I want to incorporate it somehow because this is a quite random book. And it will be full of things that I find interesting. 
I have an idea for what kind of page I want to put the pocket on. See, I found this. It's a money order and it's from 1921. And it was already cut like that. Uh, I have done a bit of inking and stamping on it. So it looks even more grungy. The stamp was the original. And I think this will be a very cool pocket. Actually, um, I want to put it on the page. It's quite busy. And I have, I want to put it on one of the original pages. You see, these are not, I want one of those with just text. Maybe there, or there, put here maybe, because I think that would be quite cool. And then I will just glue down two pages, and the two sides of the pocket will be glued down, and the other one, other two will be open. And I think that is quite uh, grungy. And a piece of genuine ephemera. I might sew around it, but I don't think. I don't think I will. That would be cool. We we'll use that. And maybe I should do a bit of inking around the edges as well because inking is everything <laughs> for a junk journal. No, it's not. It's everything for everyone, but I like the grunginess that the ink brings. I'm not too fond of leaving edges uninked. Sometimes I do it, but I love the grungy look of that. Yes, I will use my art glitter glue and glue down two sides of the money order. little bit so I am using some paper towel to take all the leftover ink and glue. As you can hear I am once again struggling with my English words too. I don't know what I have. Uh, why? Because English it's quite natural to me, usually. Ah, I have to knot these threads as well. Because they're not knotted. Um, let me see if I can. These tweezers are so handy. I use them for lots and lots of things. And this is one of the things. To pull the threads out on the same page, side of the page. And then I do a little knot, a double knot, and then I cut the thread a bit shorter up there, but down here I will leave it hanging, because I love threads in my books, and if you do not like them, and you purchase the book from me, you can just cut them off, because they are knotted, so they won't go anywhere. I will do more sewing in the book, but this one I just did when I put them together. So now we have a pocket in signature number seven as well. I quite like that actually. Look very cool. Just gonna make a mark in my little book. Hmm. See what I have here. I want to do some collaging and stuff as well. 
um, here and there. So, let's see. Well, maybe I want to do some stamping here. I was thinking about putting the stamp up there, but the stamp could is just as easy to go on the on the end papers somewhere to make it a bit more collage. -y. I lost my little mushroom <laughs> somewhere, and you all just scream. You just scream, Anna. You put it. Somewhere. Maybe it's in my picture. Yes, it does. If I put it like that, and I hold it down, maybe somewhere as well. Like this. Can you do something like that? And it will tie it all together a bit more. And I can put something else up here. I'm feeling acorns. Because after all, it's a, an autumn book. No, it's not an autumn themed book, but I have some autumn vibes right now. Um, I will have to look that up, see what I can find if I have some stamps or if I have uh, little labels or something, something round perhaps, to draw the eye upward. Hmm. I would have to think about that. Uh, and then I will put my papers back into the press. Um, right, I believe this will be all for this video. I might be back with another one uh, this weekend, but uh, that depends on how much time I have. Uh, I want to finish up some work on uh, Iris as well, and my, I might uh, film that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please leave a comment what you think. Uh, grungy, autumn, aesthetic, eclectic kind of vibe what you think like or dislike do you have any ideas for me what to look for um if you are new here here and you haven't subscribed already i would be very happy if you did um and uh, i wish you all a great sunday i will talk to you guys soon bye